Flounder Heights is one of my favorite stages from Splatoon 1 and is arguably one of the best stages in the entire series. The map is huge, it's unique, it has a ton of different options, and most importantly, almost every surface is inkable, so it takes full advantage of Splatoon's movement and allows for some really cool interactions. As of recording this video, Flounder Heights was added to Splatoon 3 today, and I'm kinda worried because Splatoon 3 map design tends to shrink down the maps, make them a lot more linear, get rid of a lot of the flank routes. I guess I just gotta go in and see how they massacred my poor boy Flounder Heights. Here we go, I'm still very excited about a bean in the game, don't get me wrong, but um... Yeah, I mean, we'll check it out. Maybe, maybe it won't be that bad. Oh, it's so weird to actually see it again. So they did make it shorter. I mean, that's the most obvious thing. And the spawn is way bigger. I hope they still have the ambience. They had like this really like iconic like cicada sound. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know why there's like so much going on here. There's a ramp up here? I'm trying to think why there would ever really be a battle here. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that hard for the enemies to get here. Yeah, this is still the same. Okay, yeah, this is the problem. So in Splatoon 1, this went like all the way back to the end of that wall. And I don't really know why they got rid of it. Because you'll notice if I go right up here, I am directly in the zone. Um, they made those zones a bit smaller too, but you used to be able to come up all the way like there was a wall here and you could like swim up it and drop down and totally get behind people and it was really cool. Okay, I'm glad this middle section is still pretty much intact. I mean, this is like the, the most important part of the map, arguably. Like this part is just kind of awesome. Oh, they actually... I think they rose up these ramps a bit higher, so there's a bit more cover. That might be a good change. I think I'm okay with that. Something I was really worried about was back around here. Okay, you can still go up this, right? Yeah, that's inkable. That's inkable. Okay, well, at least you can get back into your own spot like this. I mean, it's just so much more cramped. Like, I don't really get why they shrunk this down so much. Um, I think the tops of these walls are always uninkable, so that's okay. It'll still be really fun to play on. It is different. The spawn especially is like totally different. Um, I'm kind of sad. There used to be like a path all the way over here. And I mean, this kind of exists now, but like they shifted it. Like this part here was like here. And then there was a hallway you could take to the right that like gave you cover and you would end up like over there. So yeah, I'd say that's kind of a downgrade. And they also got rid of, uh, there was a little like live map that would actually update um, of the stage. Oh, this is new. Is this? Oh. When I saw it in the trailer, I thought there was glass there, but I guess that's actually um, a place you can die now, which is weird. I mean, could you reset the Rainmaker in that maybe? I'm not sure. Well, a ton of this is still inkable. Um, oh wait, I want to actually try something. Oh, okay, that's cool. You actually still can get up here. I can't tell if it's a bit lower. I think it, I mean, everything is lower, I guess. That's actually really cool. Um, I do like this ink rail. This is actually one of the most interesting ink rails. Uh, normally, the placement of them is like, it's normally a bad option. Oh, you could also use the ink rail to get onto there. Okay, so there's some pros to this version of Flounder Heights, some cons. This section is weird, but maybe better. I mean, there's more cover here. I'm glad this middle section is like mostly intact. I really wish you could still flank around, but I'm really excited to play on this. So I'm just going to go right ahead and hop into the game. All oh, right, so I also just unlocked X battles because it's the start of the season. I think I might, uh, Oh, okay. That's a cool sound effect. I think I'm going to check that out a different time. I'm just going to stick with Anarchy for now. Okay, yeah, Flounder Heights isn't even in that rotation. So definitely just going into series for now. Hopefully I get it and not make a mark. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. Oh. Wait, did that just eat my points? Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Oh, no, I didn't have to spend again. Okay, that's fine then, I guess. But still really weird bug. Please be Flounder. Please be Flounder. Please be Flounder. Oh, come on. Flounder? Flounder? Oh my god. Yes, here we go. Flounder, okay. Oh, this is gonna be so weird. Wait, are there two checkpoints? I kinda thought there would just be one checkpoint on this map. Oh, right, the 10 attack. I need to try that. Dude, there's so much new stuff. It's so exciting. Okay. Oh my god, it's actually here. It's Flounder. I've like had like actual dreams about Flounder being added back, by the way. Like, I, I love this map so much in Splatoon 1. Oh, they're so close to each other, but I guess it's like dropping or going over there. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I just, there's so much cool stuff you can do on Flounder. Like, look at that. You, you can't do that on other maps. That thing I just did, like, oh, and the Squid Surge, right? Squid Surge is perfect for this because there's, there's so many, like, tall walls. Um, it's kind of weird that they shrunk the walls because it does seem like Surge would be perfect for that. But, uh, I mean, it, it still feels really cool to play on. Um, okay, I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm alive. I'm totally just, like, rushing into their base. Uh, guns blazing, but you know what? I'm still alive, so we're not going to complain. Okay. Oh, it's Flounder Heights. It really is Flounder Heights. I mean, it may not be as good as before. Maybe. I mean, I, I'll, I may end up liking this version more. I'll miss the flanks on the right, but like, 
God, it it does feel so good to play on this map. I'm I'm so happy it's back. Um, where are you going? Nope. Oh my God, it's it. Oh, was, I mean, it feels new too. Like I don't really mind that it feels new. I'm just so excited to have a new map in Splatoon. Period, and the fact that it is anything resembling Plunder Heights, uh, very much pleases me. Okay, you're dead. I'd like to actually start moving the Rainmaker. Was that always like that? I feel like there was like a drop there. I actually like that better. Um, I do like that change. Uh, it's, it's weird trying to figure out everything that's ever- I mean, this is why- oh god. I went into recon to try and see the changes before I went to the game, but there's lots of little small things I'm still gonna notice. Um, okay, dropping on there is probably the best option, right? Gonna slip in here. Oh, okay, they did take me out. Pushing back the spawn is probably a good idea for Rainmaker, because that was normally the worst mode, I'd say, on Fogger Heights, actually, because- uh, it could end really quickly, and yeah, having to be this distance, this feels a bit better. God, this part of the map still feels so- I'm just- I'm so happy, dude. I'm so happy it's back. Okay, it's popped. My team's alive. Okay, well, that guy is it. Uh, and I'm not. But I'm surprised it's just hard to get the first checkpoint, actually. I- I was saying they look so close together, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. People- people are figuring out how to be aggressive on this map. Oh, with the new specials and everything. Dude, I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy. You have no idea. This map with the Splatoon 3 specials is so fun. Oh, I gotta try out, like, Carbon with the- with the Inzuka and so Oh my god. I know I have an Inzuka now, but that weapon just seems really fun. Oh god. Oh my god, there's- it's so chaotic, it's so- oh, it feels like Splatoon 1, because there's just stuff all over the screen, and I- I have no idea what's going on, and I love it. I love it so much. Oh, uh, they got the checkpoint. Okay, I don't love that. Okay, uh, no you don't. Um, okay, well, I stopped him, at least, but I did not know that Blob was still there. Uh, they have a lot of the map painted. It's- okay, I don't know. I don't- it's so weird to just open my map and see Flounder. It's so surreal. I- I know it shouldn't be. It's literally just a Splatoon map, but god, I- I love this place. Okay, let's focus on the actual game, though. Um, didn't kill that guy. Uh, you know what? I can use this ink rim. Oh, this was never a thing you could do before. Okay. Oh, that's different on, um, Rainmaker than it was on Zones. Oh, no. I'm not sure if you can get on top of that. Probably not. I mean, I imagine that's why it's raised up like that. Uh, that's okay, though. It makes sense to change things. I mean, that would make pushing really hard in Rainmaker. Wow, we can really, um, not get out of our spawn here, though. I don't, this isn't good. I don't know. Can I go this way? I mean, this is still a decent, like, option. Like, you have to drop, but, like, if they're, you know, focusing over there, you can definitely get in here. Um, and take somebody out like that. Okay, he tried to squid roll. Almost lived. Um, I'm gonna pop the Zuka. I didn't mean to fall. Ah, uh, if I can get that over the ledge. Okay, that did not take him out. This part of the map is very different, but he has to go through here. I mean, that's- okay, that's different, but that's cool. I actually like that. I switched this pipe within here. Why does this pipe have to be here? Just let me climb this wall. I- I wish I could climb the whole wall, but it's fine. It's fine. It's still- it's still okay. Man, okay. I wish my first game on it was going better than this. Uh, we could get a cool uh, comeback in overtime or something. You never know. We have a little bit of time left in the game. That slap almost took me out. Uh, jeez. Okay, this is a dangerous place for me to be, but I really feel like we need to start being more aggressive here. Come on, team. We got that checkpoint already, right? So we just need to go ahead and push it forward. I did get that kill. Um, got a kill there. Oh, that bomb, that bomb was too close. Okay, uh, that's bad. But we do have overtime and we're, um, we're gonna push it up there. We're getting some good space. Okay, this is good. I don't know how much more do we need to get the lead. Oh, we still need like 30 more. Oh, we got that checkpoint? Did we need to do that? We already got the other checkpoint, didn't we? Or no, I guess we didn't because then it would have gone away. Okay, I looked at that wrong. I thought we did for some reason. Um, oh my god, I died, really? Okay, that sucks. If I survived, I might have been able to take that guy and we could get it, but I don't know now. That's gonna be risky. Um, oh, we got it! We got it! Yes! Flounder Heights. I love Flounder Heights. Yes. And there it is. Flounder Heights Splatoon 3. You know what? It's still a good map. It's still really fun. They did not ruin it, even with the weird Splatoon 3 map design. I'm a fan. Easily my favorite map in Splatoon 3 already. I mean, I know that's one game on one mode, but like... Come on, dude, it's Flounder Heights. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for today. I want to make videos on a bunch of the Season 2 stuff, but I am currently doing um, College Finals, and I'm really busy. I'm only just barely getting this one out, so those will come, I promise. But it might take a few days, so thanks for your patience. Anyway, if you want to see more from me, you can check out my Twitch for streams or my Twitter for art. But with that, this has been Cosmic. Farewell.